this integral, the way it's written, um, is very hard to do. And the reason is there's no closed form for the antiderivative of e to the x squared. So you could try to think of some function that you know whose, whose uh, derivative is e to the x squared, and it's nothing nice. The only, your only choice is to write that as an integral, which really doesn't help us too much in this case. But if we had dy and then dx, so if the order of integration was reversed, then integrating e to the x squared with respect to y is easy. We would just get y e to the x squared. So this integral would be a lot nicer if we were integrating with respect to y first. So in order to do that, what we need to do is right now we have y between two constants, and it's x that's between the variable bounds. We need to sketch this region and then rewrite it so that we have the x between two constants and the y with the variable bounds so that we can integrate with respect to y on the inside. Let's go ahead and just kind of read off what these bounds are. The bounds are saying that y is between 0 and 2 times the square root of the natural log of 3, and that given that y, the x value is between y over 2 and the square root of the natural log of 3. So our region, let's see, here's the line y equals 0. It's just the x-axis. So there's the line y equals 0. And then the line y equals 2 uh, square root of ln 3 must be up here somewhere, 2 times the square root of ln 3. And then the x value, let's see, this one boundary is y over 2 equals x. If we just uh, rewrite it in a more familiar form, that is saying that y is equal to 2x. So that's a line with slope 2 um, that passes through the origin. So we have, we have this line here. OK, so this is the line y equals 2x. And then our other boundary is y is equal to the square root of the natural log of 3. So I happen to notice here that if x is the square root of natural log of 3, then 2x will be 2 times the square root of natural log of 3. So the square root of the natural log of 3 must be passing right through that point there. See, my, my idea is that this is the line where y equals 2x, right? And so when you plug that into this line, you get out 2 root ln 3, which is exactly the level that y has to be between. So if we look at our region, then we're talking about this region here. y is between these two constants. The x always starts at the line and goes until it reaches root ln 3. Now we wanted to set it up with x between two constants. And now we can see how to do it from our drawing. From our drawing, the x value is always between 0 and the square root of ln 3. And then for a given x value, the y value starts at 0 and climbs until it reaches this line, where the y value is 2x. So the y is going from 0 to 2x. With that change, now we can rewrite this integral. We have a different way. Uh, we basically change the direction in which we're slicing our loaf of bread here. So we still have the same function, but now we're going to have y on the inside y is going from 0 to 2x, and then we'll have dx for the outside integral. x is going from 0 to the square root of the natural log of 3. Now we can see that what we envisioned originally is coming to pass here. Because we have to find the antiderivative of e to the x squared with respect to y, then this is just a constant. So all we have to do, the antiderivative is e to the x squared times y. We just have to evaluate it between. 0 and 2x. It's y that we're replacing. Then we're going to integrate with respect to x. So we get the integral from 0 to the square root of the natural log of 3. If we plug in 2x for y, we get 2x e to the x squared, right? Minus if we plug in 0, we get 0. So there's our answer. Uh, now this is easy to find an antiderivative derivative of because 2x is the derivative of x squared. So I can just see that the antiderivative is e to the x squared. If you take the derivative of e to the x squared, you get e to the x squared times 2x. That's perfect. Now we just evaluate it between the two endpoints. And we come up with e to, let's see, if we square the square root of ln 3, we get e to the natural log of 3 minus e to the, if x is 0, we have 0 squared, so e to the 0. Now, e to the natural log of 3, this is the exponent you put on e to get 3. We've put that exponent on e, so we get 3. And e to the 0 is 1, and 3 minus 1 
is 2. So the solution to this problem is 2.